One aspect that can help you to boost your sales is so big and important that it needs its entire own video. And that's your persuasive writing. This is what you use to sell your individual items in their store listing, but it's also what you use on a sales page to promote items that are of a particular high value and that you really want to shift. The first and most important tip is to capture the attention of your readers as quickly as you can. This means you should use a bold statement, perhaps capitals, and you should address the reader directly. Now you can get the body you want. And that works much better than a quick workout for burning fat. Asking a question is also a common and effective method because it forces the reader to engage with the text by thinking about the answer. Hence, are you sick of feeling tired and unfit? The problem with this, though, is it can seem a little too obvious as an in-your-face marketing technique. An even better strategy, then, is to use a narrative structure for your opening. In other words, structure your text like a story. That way, people will want to know what happens next, and the text will seem inherently much more interesting. This is true because we're so used to reading stories. You know, we've been listening to stories for centuries, and as a result, they're always an effective tool for getting people to listen. They're also easier to make emotionally resonant. A great opening might be, I was unhappy with my body and looking for answers. Little did I know the solution would lie in an ingredient found in most diets already. You should also use headers and enable skimming. The reason this point is so important is that most people are in a huge hurry, especially online. Attention spans are short and no one wants to wait around to read a huge ream of text that's just trying to sell them something. Another way around this issue is to make your text skimmable. A good way to do this is to use lots of headings. Ideally, a visitor should be able to just read your headings and still understand the entire pitch. Addressing the reader directly is particularly useful because we have evolved to pay attention to things we think concern us. At the same time, though, you should also take this further by thinking of more ways that you can use to make your text personal. In particular, this means using a personal interest story, you know, explaining how your product works by saying how it has helped someone else or, or even you. And this works much better because it means the reader will be able to imagine how it's going to affect their life and because they'll be more likely to connect with what you're offering on an emotional level. Earlier in this series, we discussed the importance of value proposition. This is something you should always keep in mind when selling. How do you make the product applicable to the reader? How do you give it emotional weight? Well, try to get them to imagine what life will be like once they have your product, and this will make them want it more. When someone reads your text, they're going to know you're trying to persuade them, and so they'll be on the defensive. They'll be thinking of all the reasons why what you're saying probably isn't true. But you can combat this by addressing each concern in your text. Try and second-guess what the reader might be thinking and then explain why this needn't be a concern. This also means trying to come up with solutions to the most common barriers to sale. These are the psychological barriers that prevent people wanting to buy, you know, such as the risk element. We've already seen one way you can get around that by selling products from a trustworthy site and selling cheaper items first. Another tip is to make sure you have a full money-back guarantee. This is something people won't often use, but knowing it's there will help you to make many more sales. You can also try to combat buyer's remorse, which means taking away the feeling of guilt people get by spending money. Using the contrast technique is one way to account for this. Another is to describe your product as an investment.